Well, welcome back to the channel, you squeaky bottomed farters. And welcome to my Halo Reach review. The last of the Bungie games for, well, Halo. Even though one of the guys for Bungie did come back to help right the ship, as they say, when it comes to Halo Infinite, but we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. Still no solid release date on that, by the way. So without further ado, let's hit the ground running and we'll have a look at Halo Reach. Fucking lost my pot, you bastard! Anyway, do you like your first perch and jittles, mate? I do. Oh, well, this is like fucking crack for first perch and jittles, mate. It says Halo Reach, a ball bag. You're like, I don't play Halo Reach, but who the fuck no? Because I play Call of Duty. Well, you'll just die in the snow. Like that prick for the shining. You ever just think to yourself that you just shouldn't do things? Uh, and you know. Anyway, Halo Reach. This one came out in 2010 for the Xbox 360. And it was, it was good, uh, it was not bad. Get then get ported to the Xbox One. And I've been playing it on an Xbox Series X console. Just a wee word of warning here, right? There's spoilers in this review. Plus, if you can hear a whirring noise, that's my air conditioning unit. I can't have it known, alright? It's, like, it's like the surface of the bastard and sun. It's like the it's like the, the arsehole of Krakatoa in this room, alright? So, I'm even shirtless, look! Look, can you hear? Bastard! Anyway, back to the review! I had a complaint in my last review that it, it was all over the place, so I'm sorry, but my brain's a bit like that, you know what I mean? I thought actually my last one was no bad, considering I usually ramble like pish, like, you know, like this. Back to the review and all that, and here we're talking shite once more. Anyway, this game came out in, what was it, 2010? Aye, something like that. 20 fucking 10 year old, and... It's a first person shooter developed by Bungie, published by Microsoft originally for Xbox 360, the fifth installment in the Halo series, and the right sequel to the Halo Combat Evolved. <coughs> it's a prequel, not a sequel, you fool. Reach was released worldwide in September 2010. Yeah! It takes place in the year 2552. That's quite a while away from here, you know, that's... That's, a, that's like, what, 45 years or something? 545 years? 552. I don't know. It's a while away, right? So, after Halo 3 came out, the, the Bungie split into team, team development teams and, and they, they developed two different games. One which would become Halo 3 ODST and the other one which turned out to be Reach. And um, you don't go to the Master Chief in this. You actually play... Is is who do you play as? Settings and characters. Uh, um, you play as this cunt called Known L Lone Wolf. Known Wolf. I need to get some spectacles here, mate. Game follows the actions of Nobel Team, a UNSC Special Operations Unit composed 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 of elite super soldiers known as Spartans. So, Master Chief wasn't in the last Spartan, then, or he, or he wasn't he up until the. 
culmination of this story, shall we say. Where's the rest of your unit? We got split. I don't think they... It sounded bad on the comms. All right, Corporal. Stay put. We'll get you a combat surgeon. Damn. Plasma damage. Found something. I'll take that, Six. Not your domain. I got a live one over here. Uh, come on. Uh, Out you come. Minion in it. It's all right. We're not gonna hurt you. You're in George, I got her. Keep still, and I'll release you. Make it Vanak. What you say? It's over. We've been engaged. Bad guy coming out. Negative four, stay on the entrance. Two, handle her. Five and six, clear the hole. And you take on the the, the part of a, a walloper called Noble Six. And they're like, here you, we read about you back in the day, mate. Nay, nay, your pish. None of your pish, lone wolf shite, right? None of that crap. We work as a team. Haha, <laughs> aye, okay. We work as a team, except when the AI doesn't allow us to work as a team. And, and the, the fun out that the, the covenant of fun reach, and they're like, oh, this is, this, this is the main human hub. Haha, <laughs> no, it's no, you cunts. It's actually, um, like, Earth's, like, soldier manufacturing place of operations and things like that, and this is where the Mechanicum start. I mean, that's the rank fucking universe, mate. Holy shit balls! But you know, it could be part and it's no part of 40k, right? Aye, alright, fuck's sake. So, you, basically, it's like a race against time to try and stop the Covenant from wiping everybody out on this planet. So, you're a Spartan, and I have to say you die very easily. <laughs> so, what the fuck? I'm getting shot at, dude. Some super soldier. You have armor, you've got shields, and you die within about 13 and a half seconds. And I'll say one thing about the difficulty. This game is quite hard compared to the last one. Well, I think so. Again, could just be shite, but I think it's it's, it's a bit tougher. The elites are a lot more of a threat. If you run into a, a, an area of battle and you, you got three elites jump at you, you're like, oh fuck! You're like, oh, shit! Because they can dodge a lot faster, they jump this time. They don't just run into your fire blindly. Think they're going to kill you before you kill them, which was all ultimately what the what happened. It was just a you know a, it was a machine gun battle of attrition. They were ran out first, lost, which was usually them. And then you, you, you go through different places and you get wildlife this time. You get these, like ostrich-looking fucking things and you get these big bear things that you fight later on. Well, I wouldn't say bear. Like Leviathan, big, like, 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 I don't know, bear lizards, right? Fucking bear lizards. That's not all you'll get. You'll, you'll, you'll fucking have about 800,000 new weapons. Well, yes, Marty O'Donnell done the soundtrack and it was just a smack. Now never smart. Oh, I just realised something. I have just realised something very annoying. Shall we roll with it? I more and more just roll with it. Can it be that bad, right? If you know what I'm talking about, it's because I got my PS5 on and it's on the fucking launch screen and it's put down with wee gins, I'll need to cover that with some other Hey Oh my god. This is a disaster. I should have written something down. I should have written something down, but I didn't. Uh, I need to find something out about the weapons and all. Because there's actually quite a few and I can't remember even off of them. They have redesigned the assault rifle. Uh, there's no more SMGs. People, st I don't think there's any fucking no dual wielding either. The Magnum's back in it, and you can zoom, smashing. There's a uh, two different type of plasma rifles now for some reason. There's like a bigger one and a smaller one. I don't really know why they thought that was a good idea, but cool. 
you've got like a plasma grenade launcher type thing, you've got a gravity hammer type thing, which is cool. You've also got this new, what looks like some sort of grenade launcher for the, the Covenant forces. You've got a grenade launcher for the human forces, and I don't really recommend that unless you're coming up against a lot of vehicles, because it tends to just bounce out of the fucking shop. You've got this new vehicle the Covenant have got, and it's like a wraith, but it's it's no, you remember the, the troop carrier thing the brutes used in the second game? It's like one of them with a wraith cannon on the back of it. Smashing! I loved it. You've got your banshee, pish, shoot doing things, fucking every cunt dies in the end and there's some really sombre moments I thought. Was like, oh shit. Aid for falling into enemy hands. It hasn't already. Maybe, but according to Holland, the Covenant are still hunting for something. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? Come on, come on, get in! Let's go, come on! something's gonna happen but it's no it's no gonna be now but then it's now and you're like oh hello you've got a fabulous section at the end where you get a lone wolf level and I didn't last very long but that's the point that's the point you don't last long and you're fighting against waves of of grunts elites oh, you prick. fucking had enough of your pish PS5 bye you you dick Fucking talk to you again. Sorry about that, I had to discipline the, the small plastic child wanker that he is, and he's an ugly bastard in the bargain. What was I saying? Don't know. You'll have flying brutes. You had that in three, right enough. Flying brutes, all kinds of fucking mayhem going on. There's a space mission where you fly into space, but I don't know why they don't use the longsword fighters that they had in the previous games. You're now in this. Other thing that looks like an F-16 with a big rocket stuck to its arse and you'll fly about, fly about like a dry dock type thing where they're fixing up UNSC cruisers and then you'll attack a Covenant cruiser and then that goes inside another Covenant cruiser and cuts it in half and then more ships show up and you're shite out of luck. A lot of nice set piece moments. It's just a, it's a brilliant game. I can't gush about it enough. But I can try. You've also got assassination things like where you, if you, if you're good enough to sneak up behind somebody and not alert them, you can get a wee animation where you stab them in the head. That's lovely. Oh, I really like that. It's a really, really nice HD remaster as well. Again, it's not got a physical version. You'll have to buy the Xbox 360 version if you must have that disc. And you can play it in backwards compatibility. But I don't think it's this version. Of because the Halo Reach backwards compatibility version came out before this one. This was released some probably months or a year afterwards or so. Something like that. It's good though, I mean it's no matter how you, you get to play the game, it's it's well worth diving into. I think. Especially on a roasting Saturday night. You can actually feel the heat off the bombs. And that's just the sun coming in through your fucking windy. I really don't like summer. Fuck summer. I want winter back. Now this is why I go back to Skyrim every fucking five minutes because it's cold looking. I just go, I'm just gonna pretend now I'm freezing. What a walloper I am. <laughs> <laughs> so there's loads of new things. There's a, a bevy of new things in this game and a, a bevy of improvements as well. Gameplay improvements. Although I do still maintain they've made it slightly too hard in some areas. But you can always slap it in easy. I still manage to finish it in normal. I do like the fact the cutscenes in this game are first person, they're, they're from the view of you. And you can customise your armour if you've got enough points to buy anything that's good and it'll appear in the actual campaign. So that's quite sweet. 
Although I didn't, I didn't have bother for this one, I just, this is just a bog standard. Bog standard armor pieces that I got, bog standard colors, I couldn't have bother with that shit. And then the game's over, and it's straight into Halo uh, Combat Evolved. Now, the Master Chief is on the Pillar of Autumn, you see the Pillar of Autumn in the last level, and I'm thinking, why is he not out here fighting with the rest of them? There's probably some lore explanation in some fucking book somewhere in the distant realities of the extra media pish and I'm sick of this shit. See if you can't tell your story within the game and then it's a prequel or a sequel to said games. You fucked it. I should be able to pick up Halo Reach and go, right I know what's going on for Halo Combat Evolved. There's plot holes, fine. I can actually live with that more than well, if you want to know what actually happened to the Master Chief, you'll have to read these three books. Why he wasn't in the Pillar of Autumn and why he wasn't out fighting with Noble Team? And the, the simple reason is because this is an afterthought and they hadn't planned out this universe in advance. Simple explanation. Plot hole! <laughs> Doesn't really matter. John was sick, had a bit of a call, didn't know what he stayed himself. Fucking had, a, had an early night, right? Master Keys is like, uh, Johnny boy, you're not looking too hot, son. Back to your cryo chamber for some rest. He's like, Nay, bother, chief. I mean, captain. You know what I mean. So that's that's the that's the stretch of it. The entire noble team fucking snuffs it. Everybody dies a horrible, painful, gruesome death because they can't have them survive because John is the last Spartan. Can they have the last Spartan and have five more behind them? That wouldn't really... That wouldn't, that wouldn't work. But I like these new Spartans as well. Cat was cool, she had a robot arm. I think she was Russian. She kicked fuck at you. Why? See you later, folks. It didn't take long for Reach to fall. Our enemy was ruthless, efficient, but they weren't nearly fast enough. For you had already passed the torch, and because of you, we found Halo, unlocked its secrets, shattered our enemy's resolve. Our victory, your victory, was so close, I wish you could have lived to see it. But you belong to Reach. Your body, your armor, all burned and turned to glass. Everything. Except your courage. That you gave to us. And with it, we can rebuild.